My name is Brother James Petty, and I am a Freemason. I became a Freemason back in October 2020. I was raised at Burning Bush Lodge 224 here in Clarksville, Tennessee. Well, I always did want to become a Freemason ever since I was little. Um, I'd say around 16, 17 years old. I've seen um, people that was in my family, father, grandfather, what have you. They was part of the you know, Masonic uh, environment. But I was just too scared to ask because there was so much things that's going on. I was hearing so many rumors about this and about, you know, it's not good. You know, they, they you know, a lot of negative stuff. So moving on down the line, um, I had a neighbor. He was just, you know, going through the steps of becoming a, a Freemason. So I was still curious. I used to see um, him and his brothers, you call them cable toes, getting together, having meetings, and um, just you know going to the fundraisers that they invited me to. And I felt a whole lot comfortable, you know, seeing that and seeing how you know men get together and do things good for the community. Well, in my opinion. A good man, I consider myself a good man, make me better, is to, it really opened up my eyes into what's actually going on in the world today. But mainly it's more spiritual wise, you know, getting into uh, the different, you know, religions, um, how things was created, um, the different science, all that stuff took a, a effect on becoming, a, for me to become a good person and to become a good mason. Also to help other people in that, you know, need of distress or whatever, because once again, my parents, you know, taught me, you know, hey, help one another, help each other, you know, do what you're supposed to do, do the right thing. Being that I've been in, you know, been a mason for two years, there's really, it's a lot of stuff, because it's like a lot of stuff that happened, especially during the COVID, my cable toes, we was meeting up at my place, and it was, it, was, it was awesome, you know. We fellowship, we got to learn each other, you know, as brothers, because once again, I didn't have no brothers, so this was a good, you know, impact on, for me. So from there, you know, we, we gelled, and then, you know, coming to the lodge and stuff like that, seeing how everything operates, you know, looking at the fundraisers that we put on, how we help the community, um, all those, really, you know, impacted my life.